I'm News for Jaxis and Chief Meteorologist David Heckard. Well, January 4th was a big day if you live on planet Earth, which most of us do. So what was so special about January 4th? Well, it was perihelion. And what exactly is perihelion? Well, that is the Earth's closest pass to the sun. It happened on January 4th this year. It is a distance of only 91 million miles. And you may be saying to yourself now, wait a minute, why are we so close to the sun, yet January is normally the coldest month across the northern hemisphere. Well, that has to do with the fact of the tilt of the Earth. Seasons are not based on the location of the Earth relative to the sun, but the tilt of the Earth. And the axis is at 23.5 degrees, and that tilts exactly what gives us the seasons. And in the northern hemisphere, wintertime is when we are actually away from the sun. In fact, the winter solstice is January 21, which is the shortest day and the longest night in the northern hemisphere. So we have perihelion, which happened in early January, which means we have to have a day when it's the furthest away from the sun, correct? Well, that actually happens in July, in early July, actually. We have aphelion, which is the furthest distance. So it's kind of counterintuitive. We are actually further away from the sun in one of our hottest months, which is the month of July, and we're the closest to the sun in one of our coldest months, which is the month of January, all because of the tilt of the Earth decides the seasons, not the location of the Earth relative to the sun. For I'm Assistant Chief Meteorologist David Heckard for Channel 4, the local station.